So here are the stock tail lights on my Tacoma. I'm gonna be showing you how to open them up and paint them and customize them. So first step, you need a 10 millimeter. You're gonna remove this top bolt and this bottom bolt. Once you got the bolts removed, you should be able to just pop out your tail light. And then now you see here, you have one, two, three sockets. Okay, so now I have my tail light inside and in order to open this up and remove the lens, I'm gonna use this Dremel tool with this bit here. And what you wanna do is looking along the back, you can see this groove here and you just wanna follow and cut along this entire groove here, all around. It goes on this side too, and all along through the top. And once you cut that, you're gonna have something like this. So you see here, just cut all along the back. And here's my lens. So when you're cutting, you wanna make sure you don't go too deep because if you go too deep, you will end up cutting the front of the lens. But if you notice, you do have probably about like a quarter inch gap to work with. So as long as you're careful, you should be good. Okay, so if y'all notice here, I've already started cutting along that groove. If you notice here on the left of my cut, it still looks black, but over here to the right, you can actually already see the clear of the lens on the other side. So you wanna cut through this black plastic up until you start seeing the clear of the lens. Once you see the clear of the lens, like you can see here on the right side, then you wanna stop cutting. See right there, you can see a good clearness of the lens. And then here on the left, I still need to cut through a little bit more. So I'm just gonna continue this all the way around and I'll show you the next step once that's done. Okay, so looking at it now, you can see that I have cut all the way around along that groove. And so you can see, you can see the lens through the cut now and you just want to make sure you're careful not to cut through the lens so now that we have cut fully through you're going to want to use two flat heads and pry it up all the way around it is going to be a little difficult and you're going to hear a few pops but you won't you shouldn't break anything you, you should be okay so i'll see y'all back once this is off okay so now we have the clear front lens off as you can see. And the next step now is gonna to be to remove this uh, brake light here. And in order to remove that, if you turn it to the back, we have one, two, and three screws. You just remove those three screws and then you can just pull it off towards the front. So let's go ahead and do that. So now those three screws that I pointed out before are now taken off. So now we can just grab this, see if I can do this with one hand. There it goes. And if you notice the re that side reflector comes with it. So here we go. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And now you have this. So now my next step is gonna be to remove this front reflector since we're not gonna be using it and replacing it with the TRD badge, which is this one that will go right there. Okay, so let's get to that. Okay, so these two reflectors are actually plastic welded on and they're very difficult to remove. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on and just tape it up um, so I won't paint on it. 
and that way I won't crack it trying to take it off. But this one, since I don't care about it, I'm obviously still gonna remove it. So in order to make the process easier, I'm gonna use a heat gun and just slightly heat it up. That should be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this pick and pick at it from the corner. There it goes. Okay. So now you see I got that reflector off. You got a few scratches, but that's okay. The TRD badge will cover all that up. So now the next step is gonna be to sand it and tape it up and just get it ready for paint. Just like the other one. So here I'm in the process of painting. TRD badge is red. And I got this just primed up. All right, so if you notice here, I've cut two slots with the same Dremel tool. With the same red circle disc and then came in with this little stone grinder just to help straighten it out a little more. Now the next step is gonna to be to cover this hole with a light diffuser. And I'm actually using this big sheet here, which I got at Home Depot for like $11. And if you notice the corners, I'm just cutting little pieces off. And it should end up looking something like this. You just fit it in there and then glue it from the backside with super glue along the edges but on the back side though and it'll look something like this here you can see i already have my led strips in there as well and i put some foil paper around just to help um reflect the light and i'm also going to put foil paper here to cover these sections just to help reflect the light back towards out the little diffusers so the leds i used for this project are these here you can see it has its typical positive negative this here is the 1.2 inch red from osmium.com I'll post a link in this in the description as well so I used two of these one for each as well as two 2.4 inch ones for the longer bottom halves of each light so for the wiring of your LEDs you wanna make sure you pass the LED wires through this grommet here. As you can see, it's going through under it and then make them come back out through this hole and then wiring it to your harness. This way in order when you're putting the socket back in, you're able to insert this whole harness back in here. And you wanna wire the positive of your LEDs to the yellow tail of the harness and the negative of your LEDs to the black ground of the harness. And the red from the harness, you're just gonna leave it alone. Do nothing with it. And this will allow your side marker LEDs to turn on along with the 10 front tail LEDs. Okay, so now in order to reseal these, we're gonna be using this black weather strip adhesive also this clear jba weld first you're going to use the black uh, weather strip adhesive you're going to go ahead and put your two halves back together and then you're just going to run a bead of the black weather strip adhesive all along that edge And it should look something like that. Here's my other one. Cool. 
And so now I'm just gonna let that dry for about one to two hours. And once that black weather strip adhesive is dry, you're gonna go ahead and go back over it with this clear JBA. Okay, so once your black weather strip adhesive dries, you wanna squeeze a little bit of your JBA weld into your plastic container, mix it up, and then you're just gonna put a layer along the edge over the black weather stripping, as you see as I've done here. You can see how it looks much shinier now. And once that dries after about like another two hours, you're all done and be good to install them back on your truck. So once this dries, I'll show you what they look like on the truck.